It's been an interesting path starting in Atlanta, Georgia, where I grew up at the height of the civil rights era. What I found is that regardless of my skin color or my height or my athletic ability, I was able to study and perform just as well and oftentimes better than my classmates. So that encounter with adversity and change was a very defining moment for me. Her impact on Atlanta is so widespread, it's, it's even hard to describe. It's been diverse and impactful in so many different areas. I first knew her when she was president of the Atlanta City Council, and then it's, it's rather remarkable to think about the different roles that I've seen Lisa in. Head of Grady Foundation, head of the Coca-Cola Foundation, the number one fan for the Atlanta Dream, and now, of course, president of the WNBA. It is clear from watching the corporate sector that there is a hyper-focus on women. There's a recognition that we're not just consumers, we're not just influencers, we are decision makers. The same thing is true of our players. So the skills that you learn as an athlete and as a teammate and as a league mate, you may use those in other parts of your life. So that tells me this universal language we call sports and basketball in particular is far more valuable than the four quarters of play that we enjoy every day every summer. So this league is not seeking to exclude anyone. We are adding an exclamation point that women have a real asset value. Lisa is a powerball of a woman with integrity who knows what she wants and manages to get it in the very best way possible. We have every confidence in the WNBA that she's going to get more exposure for us. She's going to make us more relevant. I think we'll go places it's never gone before with Lisa Borders at its helm. Lisa cares about family. Lisa's mother is so important in her life. And I think one of the things a lot of people don't know about her is just how much she loves her mother and how much she cares about her and focuses and organizes her life around her mother. My mother was my first example. She is my example even today at 83 and she reminds me often of the lessons that we learned as little children. So when I'm trying to make a decision, she doesn't have to be physically present for me to hear her voice and remember that lesson, that I should always do the right thing, regardless of who's looking, that I have a responsibility to do the right thing. When I think of Lisa Borders, I think of three things. Leadership, I think of generosity, and I think of true caring. That's gonna be her legacy. I think that's what all of us here in Atlanta will remember about Lisa. There's an old spiritual that says, let the work I do speak for me. That's how I focus and I remind this generation and the next to keep that square in their sights.